Hey everyone, welcome back to Jameson's Repair Shop. I've got a piece to put on the transmission on the Sprinter van. So this is a T1N Sprinter van 06, converted to a Pleasureway uh, camper. And uh, when I was underneath putting the heater in, if you watched my other video, you know I put a diesel heater in this. And while I was underneath, I noticed that the transmission was leaking around this transmission harness plug. So this is gonna be a quick, easy video. I'm gonna show you how to replace this. It's one bolt, that's it. Okay, we're under the van. This is on the right-hand side, passenger side. And that's the culprit right there. So I'm gonna clean it up a bit before I break it free. And I've had this out, so I already know it's leaking. Well, you can see that it's seeping oil. Uh, and there's transmission oil down here on this bolt. So if you have one of these vans and you go underneath and you see it wet around there, this is probably something you have to replace. And this is a Dorman piece. I'll try to remember to put a... I got it on Amazon listing from Dorman in the description. Uh, 20 bucks though. And it comes with the O-rings and there's actually an O-ring for this piece too here. So I have to go get that because it's in the box still. But let's get this socket in first. So really cheap, it's a seven millimeter um, nut in there, a bolt rather, and but a nine thirty seconds will work if you don't have a seven millimeter. So let's clean up this area. I got some parts cleaner here. Make it look pretty. Mazel. Oh, put the can right underneath the drippings. <laughs> Smart. Just make it a little neater looking. Get some of that wet off so it doesn't build up with mud and dirt. Anyway, I'll get the rest cleaned up after. You guys don't have to watch me all that. So now that you get it kind of cleaned up a little bit, all that has to happen here is you just pull this aside and work it, work out the plug like so. And it'll pop right out and you'll see that the plug is soaked. Look, yeah, it's dripping right down. And this is what's going on is that the inner seals are leaking so I think this seal is leaking a tiny bit otherwise it wouldn't be getting out anyway I'm gonna clean this up too but let's get the socket out first get it out of the way I'll move that up somewhere where it won't uh, won't be in our way and what did I do here I have a nut driver with a seven millimeter on it see if that'll come out if not I'll use the socket no nope, it's working and that's it right there that must be it there she is all right so it pulled off the seal so when you do this make sure both seals come out with it so one of these seals are flattened out enough to let oil get inside the socket. We will set that aside. Right there. And I don't think I have to clean too much, but I'll give it a little clean in around the edge here. The rest should be fairly clean. And I'm going to spray. I don't want to put too much in there, but I'd like to uh, put some sensor cleaner or some contact cleaner on the on the contacts but I don't want to put too much in because now it's putting it right in the transmission but I'm going to give it a little shot there and I'm going to clean the plug the same way I get another paper towel so I clean paper towel because now you're exposing that right to the transmission so that's all exposed right inside the casing there now so a clean towel Cleaned up nice and that's that and the new one now and the new one I'm gonna put just a little bit of uh, just automatic transmission fluid on the on the seals oh, if I can see it there we are if I can get some to come out of this thing <laughs> she's pretty empty all right hold on I just put a little on it now this isn't the right transmission fluid for this van, but I'm only going to put a little dab on just to, to wet the seal. Oop, I wet my arm more than anything. There we go. 
now it has a keyway it's it is indexed you can only put it in one way and I believe let's see I think that's it right there that's the indexing right there you kind of know where that plug came but you can feel around there it goes there it pops in yeah there is an index on it so that's that and you go in and thread in the I don't know what the torque spec is on this but I don't imagine it's too much it's a small bolt maybe 20 pounds most that'd be even tight I'm going to put about 10 pounds on it there we go now that's that pretty simple um, okay I'm going to clean this plug all up I want to get the oil out of it so all I'm going to do there, I'm going to use a little bit of brake cleaner first, and I am going to change this O-ring because I have it, but I have to go get it. So let's clean this all up. Get the transmission fluid out of it. That's brake clean just to get the oil off, and then I'll give it with some uh, of the sensor cleaner, contact cleaner. And that should clean it out pretty darn good. I got the straw on, so... Get all these plugs now I haven't had any uh, codes on the transmission with this being like this but it, um, I'm pretty sure it won't be long so why not do it now before I run into trouble now I have noticed at times a slight bit of torque uh, torque shutter and in, in second gear now I don't know if this is Related, but it could very well be is what I read on it. it. It does interfere with some of the Settings that way so while that's drying out. I'm gonna put you guys on pause and I'll get the o-ring Okay, I'm back with the other o-ring right there Get it picked out Out of the way Roll that one off Clean, I'm going to clean up around this a little bit too. Oil off it. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of transmission fluid. I should have just left that oil in there. I'm going to put some new transmission fluid on the old, on the new O-ring. Just to, not much though. I don't want it all going inside the socket again. Just to lube it up a bit. kind of defeating the purpose there <laughs> there that's on it is kind of defeating the purpose so I'll just wipe what's left around there's still some on it there all right let's see if we can get this baby back in like so and it'll clip just like that well that's it guys if you have a t1n sprinter van 06 like go five and down i don't know where they start and end i think 06 was the last year for this but i'm not 100 percent sure that is something you should check it's underneath on the transmission on the passenger side easy to get at easy to do uh you think some have a guard over them this one no longer has a guard and that's it um quick and easy for 20 bucks, well worth doing. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll catch you in the next one.